Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have a updated election map. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe. We're trying to get to 4,000 watch hours so we can get monetized on YouTube. Our source today is NBCNews.com. Decision 2024. Everyone trusts NBC, right? So, this is an election map based on early voting. So, we are going to fill in these uh, states based on what the NBC News website claims the winner is in the early voting polls. Let's go to that map. According to the NBC early voting polls, Maine is 49% for Harris, 25% for Trump, making Maine blue. We're going to color in both districts for blue as well to make it easy. And M-E-A-L-2. According to it, we have um, New Hampshire, which is in H. It has Harris at 39%, Trump at 32 making New Hampshire blue for Kamala Harris. VT, Vermont. Harris has 65%, Trump has 22 making Vermont blue for Kamala Harris. Massachusetts, M.A., has Harris at 39%, Trump at 7%, making Massachusetts blue for Kamala Harris. N.Y., New York, Harris has 54%, Trump has 25%, making New York blue for Kamala Harris. C.T., Harris has 46%, that's Connecticut, Trump has 23%, making Connecticut blue. Blue for Kamala Harris. New Jersey, NJ. Harris has 64%. Trump has 21%, making New Jersey blue for Kamala Harris. DE, Delaware. Harris has 62%. Trump has 23%, making Delaware blue for Kamala Harris. Pennsylvania, with its 19 electoral votes, according to the NBC poll, Harris has 69%. In early voting, Trump has 23, making Pennsylvania blue for Kamala Harris. Now, we are going to have to reference the map from here on out. We are going to go to early voting and run our fingers over. Rhode Island is not colored in. They have no early voting data. The next up would have to be, click on the Kamala Harris map. All right, Maryland, MD, according to NBC polls, Kamala Harris has 67%. Trump has 19 making Maryland blue on the map for Kamala Harris. D.C. with three right underneath M.D. is blue for Kamala Harris. It's a pretty much just a given at this point. Now we're going on to the early voting map, and we're going to find out Florida and Georgia. So Florida on the bottom right, Democrats have 43%. Donald Trump has 37%. That makes Florida... Blue for Kamala Harris. Now going back up, we're going to find Georgia. And GA is right above Florida. And Democrats have 48% of the vote. And Republicans have 45% of the vote in early voting. That makes Georgia blue for Kamala Harris. Now if we can find South Carolina or Alabama, we're going to find those two next. So SC is grayed out. So it doesn't have any early voting data. So we're going to go to North Carolina, right above GA. That has Democrats at 38%, Kamala Harris, and Republicans at 27%, making North Carolina blue for Kamala Harris. Now we're going to find another state. It's either Virginia or West Virginia or Alabama. So VA, go over to VA. It has Democrats at 53%, Republicans at 38%. That makes Virginia Blue for Kamala Harris. West Virginia is right next to us. So let's go to the voting map. Okay. WV has Democrats at 46%. Republicans at 36%. Making West Virginia blue for Kamala Harris and Democrats. All right. Going back to that map. We are going to find Indiana. There's Indiana right next to West Virginia. According to this we have Republicans at 53%, Democrats at 40%, making Indiana red for Donald J. Trump and Republicans. That's the Republicans' first win is Indiana so far. Going back to that map. We don't have any results for Kansas. 
MO, Kentucky, Tennessee, South Carolina, Louisiana, Arkansas, <laughs> Mississippi, and Alabama. Okay, so where's Ohio at? Ohio is right there next to PA in the middle. Ohio has 51% for Republicans, 42% for Democrats, making Ohio red for Donald J. Trump, J.D. Vance, and Republicans. All right, going back to that map, we are going to find Illinois. Illinois has 51% Democrat, 41% Republican, making Illinois blue for Kamala Harris and Democrats. All right. Let's see. We got Michigan right above Ohio, right in the top middle. Michigan, MI. Democrats have 57%. Republicans have 34%, making Michigan blue for Kamala Harris and Democrats. All right, back up. Let's see if we can find WI. WI is right to the left of Ohio. WI to the left. It has Democrats at 40%, Republicans at 19%, making Wisconsin blue for Kamala Harrison Democrats. Going back up, we're going to find IA to the left of Wisconsin. They have 50% for Democrats, 29% for Republicans, making Iowa blue for Kamala Harris. Going back up. We are going to have, let's see, Ohio, Illinois, Iowa, South Dakota, right next to Iowa. South Dakota has 53% Republicans voting. Democrats are at 29% for early voting, making South Dakota red for Donald J. Trump and Republicans. Now we're going to North Dakota, right where South Dakota was, up above it. All right, North Dakota, Republicans 44%, Democrats 15% in early voting, making North Dakota red for Donald J. Trump and Republicans. Going back up. Minnesota, right there. Minnesota has 46% Democrat, 17% Republicans, making Minnesota blue for Kamala Harris and Democrats. Whew. Okay, let's see this. Nebraska, right there, N-E, Nebraska. Uh, Democrats are at 43%, Republicans at 41%, making Nebraska blue for Kamala Harris and the Democrats. The whole state will just make it all blue. Okay, going back up. We have KS. Kansas is not to be colored in. New Mexico, NM to the left of Kansas. New Mexico has 49% Democrat, 39% Republican, making New Mexico blue for Kamala Harris. Going to Colorado, right above New Mexico. Colorado has 50% for Democrats and Kamala Harris, 13% for Republicans, making Colorado blue for Kamala Harris. All right, let's go back up. Let's see, what else do we got here? Wyoming, W-Y, above Colorado. Wyoming has 77% Republicans early voting, 16% Democrats early voting, making Wyoming red for Donald J. Trump. MT, right above Wyoming. MT, Republicans 45%, Democrats 25%, making Montana red for Donald J. Trump and Republicans. We got Idaho, not Utah. Idaho's at the very top on the left. Idaho has Idaho has 55% for Republicans, 23% for Democrats, making Idaho red for Donald J. Trump and Republicans. Utah is not to be colored in. Oregon is not to be colored in. Washington is not to be colored in. California. California has 49% for Wow, 49% for Democrats early voting, 30% for Republicans. Wow. I'm, I'm shocked because that's pretty high for Republicans um, in California. I'm, that's, a, that's a big shock. So 49% for Democrats in California, 30% for Republicans, making California blue for Kamala Harris. No one is shocked she's been blue this whole time. Nevada was six. We've got to go up to there and see where NV is right next to California. Nevada has 48% for Republicans, 25% for Democrats, making Nevada red for Donald J. Trump and Republicans. Arizona on the bottom left, right there. Yes, Arizona has 50% for Republicans, 28% for Democrats, making Arizona red for Donald J. Trump and Republicans. 
Alaska, the bottom left, AK, 47. Republicans have 29%. Democrats have 24%, making Alaska red for Donald J. Trump and Republicans. Texas, which is on the bottom in the middle. Texas has 61% for Republicans, 34% for Democrats, making Texas red for Donald J. Trump and Republicans. Oklahoma, right above Texas. Oklahoma has 51% for Republicans, 37% for Democrats, making Oklahoma red for Donald J. Trump and Republicans. And I do believe we got every state that's on here. So this is us showing our source the best we've ever showed a source before. That would go on the map. What would the map show for the Electoral College? It would have Kamala Harris at 317 and Donald J. Trump at 112, with all these states left to fill in, according to the NBC polls posted yesterday and updated today. That would give Kamala Harris and Democrats a landslide victory if they caught early votes and collected them as of right now. Kamala Harris would be your next president of the United States of America. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out. Burnt. <laughs>